good afternoon guys we are back in ubers i feel like my vlogmas i haven't been in an uber but today i am on my way to see a dentist for a consultation so pirate who does my microblading with my brows recommended me slash referred me to this dentist so i'm excited it is currently 157 and my appointment is at 240 and the doctor's name is dr tabib and dr mellow so basically i'm just going for a consultation just to see you know what we can do either like whitening they do like veneers they do just a bunch of stuff so he's really good his instagram is like crazy like the before and afters are insane so let's see what they tell me i completely forgot to take my allergy medicine so i'm kind of like you know drowsy not drowsy but like can't really see well but i think i have like an emergency card in my bag so once i get to brendan's job afterwards i'll see maybe i'll run to the store and get some nasal spray but um i'm wearing the same dress that i wore in the other day's vlog because i wanted to take a picture in it i keep switching the angles because the lighting is changing but i wear the same dress that i wore in the other vlog because i want to take a picture in it it's from fashion Nova. It's so cute because it's like long, but my legs are kind of exposed and then I have heels like boots on So I'm kind of being extra for the dentist right now, but it's because afterwards I'm going to um, Brendan's holiday party Lighting's back over here Brendan's holiday party Ooh, look um, It's like a fundraiser holiday party and they basically um, Just have a really great time. It's a good cause. I will check back in with you guys once I get to the dentist is crazy. So I'm literally filling out my description bar in the car on my phone. So I'm using the YouTube studio um, app and then I'm just playing it. So I literally have this on the go like that. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you that the YouTube studio app comes in so clutch. You can edit your thumbnail there. You can add your description bar. So I have this video waiting to be published at 5 p.m. I'm trying to figure out what time like is the best for my videos. So yeah, hopefully I don't get car sick, which lately I haven't been, which is great. We have made it to our destination, Dr. Raman Tabib. Lego. So I just finished filling out some paperwork about my teeth and my health and Rosa? yes so i'm here at new york city's mal design about to get a consultation with dr tabib on my teeth they just finished taking some pictures of me smiling and i never smile like in pictures like this i always do one of these you know but i think it's because my cheeks are so like you know chipmunky that they just look too big when i smile but this is my teeth i used to have braces and i used to wear headgear believe it or not well some of you know that but they're kind of shifting you can see right there but they are pretty white because i used to whiten them with white strips well i still do but, uh chris white strips but they're a little shifty because i never want my retainers so my fault but we're here just to see what we can do i was filling out the paperwork and i was putting that you know i suffer from the cmj which has been better with the botox but i just wanted to talk to the dentist about it because i've never gotten like a really professional you know opinion on it like i've gone to um, a regular dentist and i went to like a, a walk-in urgent care and they told me that i have the tmj but i just want someone to like really evaluate it so yeah i'll vlog in a little bit Yo. look at brandon in his workplace <laughs> he said welcome to my crib <laughs> They're doing a wrap. My friend Angie's here. She just did makeup on Lyrica. That's her name, Lyrica from Love and Hip Hop. But she had to go to the back, so I didn't get to see her. Like I saw her walk by, but she had a she's working right now. So that's so crazy. I'm here with Brendan, my friend, and then my other friend is here. But for something else. So Lyrica was performing and my friend Angie did her makeup. She's doing such big things. I'm so proud of her. She's accomplishing what I feel like she deserves. So I'm so happy for you, Angie, if you're watching this, I love you and you're 
I don't know, just amazing. I'm so proud of you. So yeah, I'm gonna just continue to drink up and then go get something to eat because this is my first meal of the day. I had anything to eat, nothing to drink, but this. It tastes really good though, it tastes like juice. So yeah, I'll see you in a few. In the Christmas spirit. So we are at a bar. What up, Brendan? Hey, what's up? Follow my channel. You made it? Um, I did make it. Follow it, Brendan Bernardo. All right, so it'll be in the description, guys. I didn't, I didn't even know what I said. It'll be in the description bar, guys. It'll be in the description bar. Hey, yo, I haven't even subscribed. Let me subscribe right now, yo. Oh, subscribe already. But you made it? I did right. make it. Oh, okay, okay. Be Granada Films, Brendan Bernardo. Add me, like, subscribe, comment. Hey. Show Welcome. the love, show the love. Welcome. <laughs> and we're celebrating his co workers' birthday, Saji Life. His co workers. <laughs> Where are the lights, though? Uh, you're famous. Catch him on that Good Morning America, people. He's on the Twitter account. Hey, famous. <laughs> hey. See how, like, when you. Like, if I. Wait, how do I zoom? You move it. It's like a Maybe slow it's zoom. It's right here. Yeah. Hey. Good afternoon. It is Thursday and my hair looks crazy. I got two clips because I just finished taking a shower but I didn't wash my hair because I feel like I can get one more day out of it. Have an event later tonight. What? That was like today and tonight combined. Tonight and it is a Curve for Men event and it's going to be hosted by Karuchi. I kind of wish Chris Brown and I was still together so I could see him. <laughs> no, but... um that's at six so i need to go get some breakfast or just some lunch and then get ready put my makeup on and all that today i'm not doing i don't think a beauty video Ooh, unless i film the video of the makeup i was wearing in my other video i think i shall do that so that tomorrow i could have that video so just videos videos and videos oh so yesterday <laughs> yesterday yesterday I went to the dentist, New York City Smile Design, and I was um, having a consultation with Dr. Tabib and his wife, Dr. Mello. I know you guys like, tell me, oh, you have great teeth, your teeth are so nice, but it's because they're white. But if you look up close, they're not, they're okay, because I had braces, but they're a little shifty. I feel like you can't tell. Look, you can see right there, it's a little bit shifty. And the main reason was because I wanted to get like consultation on the TMJ to get like properly diagnosed and x-rays and stuff like that. So I went for the consultation. For sure I have that TMJ issue and it's pretty bad. So Dr. Mello, she has TMJ and she was like, you know, she just wanted to kind of assess my mouth. And basically when I open and close, you see how it doesn't close straight? So the Botox has helped tremendously. Like I don't feel pain right now at all, but it's something that's temporary. Tem temporary. Only at last three months. And I know a couple of you guys wanted me to talk about the TMJs. Let me just put you here. So basically, I don't want to talk about it too much because I feel like I don't really have much to say about it other than the fact that I had it when I was younger. So I used to wear braces. Sorry, I know we're always in my room, but honestly, like, where else am I going to talk to you guys about this? But I had braces when I was younger, before high school. And the main reason was, you know, there was a little bit of shifting. Like, my teeth weren't straight, but they weren't bad. But main reason was because I had an underbite. So my bite was like this. So my chin protru protruded, protruded. I'm like, can't pronounce anything today. My chin would go out pretty much, pretty much. Even when it was closed, my whole mouth looked different. And so they presented as two options, my family. Get surgery, which basically means break your jaw and realign it, or wear headgear for a year. So we went with the headgear. So I had braces, I think for almost three years or two years. The headgear was for a year and I had to wear it 12 hours a night, 12 hours a day. I wore it at night. Obviously, I didn't want to go to school with it. And it would kind of, it was like a pad here, a pad here. And it would just like have a metal thing. And it was out, like it was total brace face. And it was like a contraption. And then it would come out. And then I would like the rubber bands, I would tie them onto my jaw. And it basically brought my upper jaw out. So now I have a regular overbite. It's funny because my brother actually, his teeth, are like aligned like it's not over or under it's just like on top of each other but basically yesterday they were assessing and they were like yeah you've had it pretty bad this tmj because they can tell by the grinding of the teeth are here so there's two different types of clenching there's the the one that you make like that noise usually at sleep in sleep while you're sleeping or you can have the one that i have which is just a tight grip so when i'm sleeping or when I'm tense, I close my mouth and I tense it up. And I'm not even aware of it. So basically it has caused some problems, not only to my teeth, but 
it causes a bunch of other problems everywhere so like i was telling her you know my symptoms never really have to do with my jaw but pretty much like everywhere else and she was like yeah that's like a common misconception that if you have tmj you're gonna feel so much pain in your jaw and yes some people could barely open all the way like it's so tight but i get more of ear problems throat issues um nose like it feels like i have a sinus like sinusitis or have like a sinus problem all the time like i do have allergies as well so it's a mixture of like really bad allergies and the tmj but it throws everything off it's kind of like having a thyroid problem when you have a thyroid problem it messes you up in other areas that you don't even know you would you would think oh it's just gonna like bother here like no it messes other things up when you have tmj your upper jaw is getting pushed because of the alignment is not right it's being pushed into your skull which is causing headaches it's causing you know tension headaches migraines it's not a fun thing to deal with and you know thankfully knock on wood i don't really get like tooth aches and stuff like that because i know those are pain in the booty like i know a lot of people who get pain in their teeth and it's like excruciating like people who have had teeth problems have always told me like this is the worst thing I could have, I've, I've ever dealt with because it's constant pain and it's in your mouth and we use our mouth to talk and to eat and to you know swallow and you just need your mouth all the time and especially because I talk so much for YouTube for my job and because I'm eating obviously like regular food i'm not like on a liquid diet or something my mouth's constantly moving and when i open it clicks i wish you guys could feel it or hear it but it does kind of move so basically long story short i had a consultation yesterday the doctor was discussing veneers with me and the reason is because my enamel is somewhat weak in some areas possibly because well yeah because i use whitening strips forever but also because i grind i'm like grinding my enamel down basically it would be like a cosmetic procedure but they would kill two birds with one stone and also fix my jaw like or potentially try to fix my jaw um dr mello was saying something about like a snow cap so that my teeth aren't grinding it's like it doesn't close down or something like that kind of just like a protective layer so i mean it's it is expensive i'm considering it it's just like it's a lot <laughs> and like for someone like me like i always thought like oh i had nice teeth but when you see them up close like that on the screen like you see that there's shifting and because i never wore my retainer they're shifting and i just don't want them to get worse over time the doctor was saying he's not the type of you know dentist or doctor that is gonna completely just wipe your teeth out and give you veneers like he's gonna try to preserve what he, the most that he can he's it's so easy he said for a you know a doctor to just like wipe you out have no teeth and just give you veneers but that can cause so many problems down the road and so now the technology is getting so much better and the veneers are getting so much better so they don't have to shave you down they do have to shave some down but like not a, not as much as before but you know it was just a consultation i just wanted to hear you know a professional tell me and he's like literally the best of the best like in new york so his cousin is actually a really famous dermatologist in la and he works on the Kadar card what the kardashians and like a bunch of celebrities and stuff so you know he's definitely he definitely knows what he's doing you know what i mean um but it's but it's pricey so anyway i just wanted to let you guys know that's what happened yesterday so i did that and then i took an uber to brendan's job we went to a like bar down the road i just had like um a small flatbread pizza and then we left we went uptown and i basically just chilled in brendan's house we had rose and then we were playing well i wasn't i played one game but we were playing like video games he was playing video games with his friend and I was just there watching. They were playing um, Call of Duty and some other games, <laughs> some fighting games. So that's pretty much it. Like I was, we're just chilling, talking, and then I went home and I was exhausted. I took a shower. I didn't get to go to the gym because I, I mean, I was having some drinks. I'm like, am I gonna go to the gym like this? <laughs> I wasn't drunk, but I was like a little bit safe. I'm like, I'm going to sleep, you know? I was tired. The night before I'd only slept three hours. So I went to sleep and then that's it. I woke up today feeling good. I just used my Clarisonic and it feels so smooth. Kind of wanted to let my skin breathe. So let's get a move on. Let's get our day started. Hey guys, so it is 3.30. I'm on my way to get something to eat and I have to drop off a return in the post office. So yeah, it's actually really cold out. It's 44 degrees, but it feels like 30. And I always have my ankles out, even if it's freezing outside. I just like how it looks. So they're picking me up at five and it's 3.30 and I still look like this. But I don't think I'm gonna do any eye makeup because it's like it's like a fragrance event, and I think it's gonna be pretty relaxed. But they're sending car service at five. I kind of want to call the guy and be like, "Can you come at five thirty? Yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I've switched it up, switching it up today. I'm not only in my room. I'm in the car. I don't know. It's hard to like vlog when I'm always home and 
I got a lot of comments like, oh, we want to see your friends. But I'm like, mm, my friends. <laughs> I'll see you guys, I guess, in a few. I kind of am craving like Dominican food. Like moro. With, with like salad and lemon. We'll see what we get into though. So I didn't get Dominican food, but I got sushi. Well, this is a ginger salad, but I love it. It's very refreshing and I love ginger dressing so much. So I'm sitting on the floor. I don't really know why, but I'm gonna open up a couple of packages that I have here. So the first package is from Flower Beauty. It's this huge box. Oh, it has two layers. I just noticed that. No wonder it's so heavy. This is their fall 2017 collection. The top one has the 3D pearlized gloss. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Kathleen Lights talks about, the gloss. There's a bunch of nudes and these are the mix and matte lip duos. So one side looks like a liquid lipstick or a lip gloss and the other side's a regular lipstick. That's actually really cool. And this is um, Drew Barrymore's line. I actually wanted to buy on Walmart.com the highlight, the Flower Beauty highlight. That looks bomb.com. So in the bottom one, we have lip liners and a bunch of lipsticks. Look at this package. It's pretty epic, huh? So these... Oops. <laughs> so I'm going to put some of these in a giveaway for sure. Thank you so much to Flower Beauty. I'm excited to try the glosses. I love glosses. Why does my hair get so oily so fast? Like, I feel like it's so dead. Maybe I should try curling my hair. I don't know. It just always looks like... And it's crazy because outside is so cold and so dry. You would think my hair is, like, drying out. But it just keeps getting greasier and greasier. Sometimes, like, when it's super greasy, I feel like I just need a haircut. But I just got one. But yeah, my mom's hair is really dry, so I don't know why my hair comes out. Well, actually, my right, my dad has oily hair. My dad and my boy and my brother had long hair. They used to have like ponytails, both of them. And my mom used to braid my dad's hair. He used to have really greasy hair, and he used to put like coconut oil or like some grease on his hair to make it like super slick and shiny. Random, but yeah, I guess that's why I got oily hair. The Peruvian side. So the first package that came to my PO box, which I do have a PO box. I always leave it in the description bar. Hey. <laughs> You're not feeling good? No. On behalf of Mon Shampooing, ooh, I've sent you the enclosed selection of hair care products to customize based on your specific hair type. You can customize your hair care routine by adding a full essential and vegetable fragrance oil vial to the gentle shampooing and gentle conditioner that you'll be receiving based on your specific hair type. Also, if you have a combination hair type, such as oily and colored hair, you're able to mix and match by using a vial for oily hair in your shampoo and a vial for colored hair in your conditioner. Once you add your specific vial, just shake it up and go about your daily hair process. I was just talking about my hair being really oily. <laughs> so that's cool. This is the essential and vegetable oils for colored hair. So they're like oils that you put into your shampoo and conditioner. That's like really cool. The bottle's really cute. This one probably smells orangey. Yeah, it smells very orange. This one is the mint and rosemary jojoba for oily hair. Yes. I don't care what it smells like. If it's gonna help me with these greasy roots, I'm I'm in. Ooh, that's nice. I was thinking of doing like an apple cider vinegar rinse on my hair. But I hate that smell. This one's for delicate hair with lemon and lemongrass and sweet almond. It smells like Murphy oil. My cleaning supply. I think I my cocoa is so cute. This one is lavender and geranium for dry and curly hair. Ooh, lavender smells really good. And then they have the orange blossom and sage and grapeseed for soft and fine brittle hair. Ooh, that's nice. That grapeseed and sage, cool. And then just the gentle shampoo and gentle conditioner. Ooh, with keratin. No SLS, no sulfates, no parabens, no silicone. So safe to use on my hair. That's awesome. Thank you, Mon Shampooing, personalized hair care. That's awesome because, you know, not everyone falls into one category of hair type. Like, you can have oily curly, dry curly, oily dry. Like, you know, you can have oily roots at a dry end. So, I like that you can customize it. So, that's awesome. Let's see what else we got. So, the next package is this one. So, this is from the brand Republic Glam. Hi, Rosita. We would love for you to try these mink lashes. We know you will look fabulous wearing them. Republic Glam. Cool. I mean, right now, I can't wear lashes. But, as soon as these come off, ooh. Oh, I love this. The lashes look so good. This is the box. Inside it says, you can't buy happiness, but you can buy lashes, which is the same thing. <laughs> 
These are in the style Dahlia. Look how pretty. They're so fluffy, which I love. I'm obsessed with like a fluffy lash. These look really similar to the Lily lashes. Excited for that. These are in the style Lotus. Ooh, these kind of look like Miami's, but shorter. See, they have like that spikiness to them, that separation. Add they get, add they get. This is Blossom. These look so good, guys. I wish I could just figure out what glue I can use forever and not have irritation. Like, if I could just find that, I would be the happiest person in the world, literally. This is Orchid. And they also have that separation. Really cool. They're cruelty-free, handmade mink lashes. Their Instagram is Republic with a K, Glam. She set this up so cute. Look how pretty. And then she added some kisses. I'm gonna enjoy one right now. I actually, after sushi, I was like, I kind of want something sweet. Is anyone else like that where they like have to have something sweet after they eat? I'm so weird, but certain aftertastes, I just can't. I don't like it, so I'm going to eat one. My favorite ones are the ones with the peanuts inside or the almonds, I mean. I mean, chocolate is good. I'm definitely a chocolate kind of girl. Thank you so much, girl, for these lashes. It's the best to have like a bunch of lashes ready to use because I feel like you're more motivated to do your makeup when you have like a bomb pair of lashes waiting for you. This is from Luray. It says, wishing you a festive holiday season and a wonderful new year. They're always so sweet. So this is the hydrating foundation primer made in the USA. Look how cute the packaging is too. It's like a light pink. And they sent over Godiva milk chocolates with caramel. I know a certain someone who's gonna be eating these. I'm actually not really a big caramel kind of person. I'm more of like a dark chocolate with like almonds kind of person. Like if it's too sweet, I usually, I could only eat like one piece. Let's see how this, ooh, fancy. This bottle, it has a pump, which is nice. Ooh, that feels awesome. It feels like an oil serum. Look at that hydration. That feels really, really silky and smooth. Thank you so much to Luray Cosmetics for sending that over. Next up, we have my BoxyCharm. We've got a crown brush in here. I think this is like a, a stippling kind of like foundation brush. We have the Real Her Be Fearless, Be Limitless blush kit. The Beauty, what is this? Beauty Basics. Bronze Essentials. It just broke. No! It got all over my leggings and my sneakers. <laughs> and it looked like such a pretty color. That's how my day's going. A mascara from Tarte. <laughs> I don't want to get it on the couch. And a pretty vulgar My Lips Are Sealed Secret Sabotage. Hmm. I gotta wash these leggings ASAP because I don't want them to get stained. Oh my god, my sneakers. <laughs> Okay, it's okay. And last but not least, we have a very special gift just for you. Ooh, how cute. Pixie, I love this. It's a customized glow tonic. It says Roses Glow Tonic. And it's a jumbo one. How dope is that? That's so cool. This one is the glow tonic, just a toner. I usually use the glow tonic to go pads, but it's kind of like an exfoliating toner. It's their best selling toner has glycolic acid it's an exfoliating toner thank you pixie that's really really nice i feel special and this box is really cute and last but not least this one's just so cool this is from too faced i actually already opened it look how cool it's the clover palette and i already gave coco the toy coco where's your toy puppy i don't know what he did with it he's not really yeah he's not really a toy kind of dog um so this is the clover palette i think i'm gonna give this to my cousin Colors are nice. They're really like bright and fun. But I feel like my cousin would really enjoy this packaging. My little cousin. They're getting into makeup now and I'm like, girls, settle down. They're, they're young. There's a lot of cousins. They're all young, but they're really into makeup and they like Snapchat me and FaceTime me. And my, every time my dad FaceTimes me, they're like, Rosita, where is Rosita? Like they watch my YouTube videos and they told me that they thumbs down my videos one time. I'm like, why would you do that? They're like, oh, we didn't know that was something wrong. I'm like, yeah. So this is so cute. Thank you Too Faced for my Clover palette. And that's pretty much all we're gonna open today. Cause I know you guys were saying, we're tired of seeing makeup. We want to see your life. But I'm like, this is my life. <laughs> like this is what I do most days. Just like open up packages, run errands, do business like emails or film videos. And like occasionally I do something fun here and there, but usually I'm not vlogging it cause I'm like in the moment, but I'm trying. What else do I gotta do? I think I'm gonna go post on my Poshmark. I gotta post a couple things, finally. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go do that. Okay, doctor. So today was pretty much a fail. It was one of those like stay home kind of days. I like went out for a little bit, but I'm actually gonna take a nap. So my phone died and my camera died at the same time. Oh, this is bright. But um, yeah, I wanted to end the vlog here and I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who commented on my last vlog. You guys have been so supportive. I love the honesty. Like a lot of you guys were saying you just wanna see more of my personal life. Um, the only thing about that is that I work from home and I don't really do much and I don't hang out with so many people so it's like this is really my life like i keep some things private you know just for my happiness and just for my safety but pretty much i'm just in my room all day which sucks so i really need to make an effort to go out more and do more things and activities and vlog you know at least errands even that i'm running but yeah let me go over here because that's really bright so today's video i'm sorry if it was a little lackluster a little boring but i'm not gonna give up on vlogging even if it's a boring day so i hope you enjoyed it even though it wasn't much to it hopefully my next vlogs will be a little bit more fun and um i wanted to quickly do a giveaway so kind of like a sneaky sneaky giveaways i'm gonna be giving away this bobby brown holiday makeup kit it just has a bunch of bobby brown goodies in there so what i want you to do is just comment down below something that you love about yourself it could be anything it doesn't have to be it could be physical it could be non-physical just tell me it could be one thing it could be many things what you love about yourself i think it's hard for us to like speak out on like positive things about ourselves and like show ourselves love it's so easy for us to be like i love you to other people but not i love you to yourself and so i want you to take a couple minutes and think about what you love the most about yourself and comment that down below and i will choose the winner in the next vlog so not tomorrow but the next day and you will receive that bobby brown gift set it has a bunch of cute little things in there so i think that'll be cool and i want to spread more positivity because i didn't want to come off negative in my other video like i'm definitely like in love with my journey i just felt like the numbers are not adding up and i'm not really one to look at numbers i know like that's like something you shouldn't do when you're trying to progress you know when you look at the number you're basically just planning to fail and i'm really not that type of person but it was just a little frustrating to see like other people do things and get like praise for it when it's just like pure drama and i'm here just really trying to like help people but again you can't compare yourself either but i don't know i just wanted to like vent a little but i'm not like depressed or sad or like i love my channel i love my content i just wanted to see like what you guys love the most and a lot of you said outfits and like more personal life that you're kind of tired of the makeup but it's like this is a makeup channel you know what i mean it's not like a lifestyle channel that much but i'm gonna try to incorporate other things into it but i think once i move it'll be easier just because i have my own space and i'll be comfortable in my space like i you know i can show you guys like decorations and things like that like right now this is really my space like this room this beauty room is my space so i'm always in here but thank you for your input and um i will see you in tomorrow's video and then in the next day's vlog i love you guys so much and i hope you guys have a great night and a great day tomorrow Mwah.